Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about the concept of complement and independence. So the first concept we want to talk about is complement. Okay. So what's complement? We're going to talk about complement by third state. There's a there's an event A that we're interested in, right? Event A. So complement of event A. Complement of A is the event of not A. Is the event of not A. So any outcomes that are not in A are in complement of A. And the way we denote this is either A prime or A with a superscript C. A complement. Okay, so let's denote this in a Venn diagram. So we have a Venn diagram here. Let's say the circle here represents event A, right? So all the outcomes inside this circle are in event A. So not A or complement of A are all the outcomes that's outside this circle, right? So anything in the sample space that are not in A, not in this circle, right? All the events, all the outcomes here are A complement, right? So as you can see, A complement means not A, right? Not A. So how are we going to link uh, A and complement of A? Now, the way we can do this, link between event A and the event of A complement. First, we're going to apply the first, first rule we learned from the previous video. So we know that the probability of a sample space is always equals to 1, right? So probability of event A plus the probability of event A complement, right? So A and A complement total when they add up will give you the sample space, right? So you know that the probability of A plus probability A complement equals to the probability of our sample space, right? So this equals to one. So then we can derive from this formula probability of A equals to one minus probability of A complement or the probability of A complement is equal to one minus the probability of A. Okay, so using this formula, then if we know the probability of A, then we can easily get the probability of A complement. If we know the probability of A complement, then we can easily get the probability of A, right? So this is a very useful tool that we're gonna use in our, um, uh, when we talk about problems and future uh, concepts. Okay, and that's the concept of complement. Next, we are going to talk about the concept of independence. Okay, independence. So, independence. Independence. Okay, let's first define independence. The two events are independent. So two events are independent, right? So what it means to be uh, to have two events to be independent, it means that one event happens, right? So we know one event happens, but it doesn't, it does not, doesn't tell you the chance of other event happening. happening. So basically, knowing one event happened for sure does not tell you the chance or does not help you uh, knowing the chance of another event happening, then they're independent. If one event happens for sure, you know one event happens for sure and it helps you um, uh, to get the chance or knowing the chance of another event happening, 
then they're dependent, right? They're linked to each other. So if they're not linked to each other, then they're independent. Okay. Uh, I want to give you an example. But before that, I want to give you a formula or a way to denote uh, whether the two events are dependent on each other. A, probability of A, conditional, so this vertical bar means conditional, on B. So this is probability of A given B. Okay? So we'll talk more about conditional probability in future videos, but what it says is here, we know B happens. So we have information about the event B. And based on that, what is the probability of A, event A happen? So A depends on knowing B, and that's what it says, right? So probability of A given B, okay, yeah, given B here, okay, good. Cool. So let's do an example. So for example one. Okay. So in example one, we know that we toss a coin two times. So we're gonna toss coin two times. Okay. And event B is getting two heads. Right. So B we get we're getting two heads. Okay. And then oh nope. Uh, that's event A, sorry. So it's event A and B is the first coin gets a head. First coin gets a head, okay? These are two events and we're interested in to see if they're independent. So let's start with looking at probability of A. Okay. So what is the probability of getting two heads? This equals to one over four, right? Because we have to say head, 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 tail, tail, head, tail, tail, right? So there are total four possible outcomes, and the probability of this one happening is one over four. Now let's say, what's the probability of A given B? Let's do one. Okay. So this is assuming that B happens, so B is true. So this one's true. We know that the first coin is a head, right? So with that information, is this probability of A is gonna change? By based on B, by knowing B, our sample space has changed, right? Because we, we already know B, that means we are looking at hat, tail, and hat, hat, right? Because we know this is true. If we know this is true, the first one has to be a hat. So we only have two possible um, outcomes. And then one of them is our event A here, right? So this equals to one hat. So what we see from here? What we see from here is that by knowing B, the probability of event A happens changes, which means that A and B are linked together. So this tells us A and B are in fact dependent. So they're dependent. So they're linked to each other. Knowing B helps you to um, get the chance of A happening. Next. Next, I want to uh, give you an example to show independence of two events. Okay, so example two, example two, I'm gonna have a box contains of eight numbers. Okay, so one, two, three, four. These four are in black, and then 
one, two, three, four. These four are in red, right? So the concept here is there are eight numbers, right? One, two, three, four. Red, one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to pick one number randomly. So I'm going to pick a number randomly. So I'm going to pick a number randomly. And there are two events that we're considering. So A is choose number one, right? The, the event that um, the, the number I pick is a one. And then B is the event that the color is red. Okay, so B is number I pick is red. Now we're going to use this to show whether these two events are independent. Okay, let's again start with probability of A. Probability of A equals to, so the number uh, one. Okay. So there are eight numbers in total, right? Eight numbers in total. There are two ones, right? This one and this one. So we know that it's two over eight, right? Of the possible eight outcomes, two of them are one. So this equals to one, four, okay? Now, let's look at probability of A given B. So we know the number that we pick or is red for sure. It's red for sure because it's conditional on uh, red. Then we are looking at this four numbers here okay? because we know it's red. Of these four numbers, one of them is one, right? Which means that of the four red numbers, one of them is one. Okay. So what we get here, we get that the probability of A with no information of B is 1, 4. And then with the information of B, we still get 1, 4. So these numbers are the same. Okay. Are the same is that it shows it shows that knowing or by giving information red, we red. Uh, doesn't help me to, or it doesn't help me or it doesn't change the probability, it doesn't help me to get the probability of A, or it does not change the probability of A. So knowing B gives us no more extra information. Okay, so this is the example of B and A are independent. So in this case, we have probability of A, in fact, equal probability of A given B. So it does not help me improve uh, knowing the change of A. So this shows that A and B are independent. Okay. So in our case, A and B are in fact independent. Um, so let me give you a conclusion from the two examples we did. Yeah. Okay. So conclusion. You know, sometimes we're interested in testing whether the two events are independent. So if you are interested to test for independence, just for independence, we are going to check if probability of A, like one event, equals to probability of A given another event, right? So we're going to test to see if this is true. If it's true, if the answer is yes, then the two events are independent. Yes, then they're independent. And if they're not equal, that means knowing B changes your probability. No, uh, no means that uh, probability of A not equals to probability of A given B. In this case, the two events are dependent. Okay, good. Yeah, 
So this video concludes the concept of complement and dependence. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.